areas of US spending, quality time with your family due to the lockdown. But if you are the student, never stop learning. Well, let's get started. Today we are going to have the brief introduction of international English language testing system. Okay, here we go. So, why should we do this test for high study, for postgraduate, and for PhD, for immigration, or to get professional jobs in Dubai, UK, America, Canada, and countries like that? Okay, who can take test? Everyone who wants to go and study in a country where English is spoken and understood. Okay, the person must have a valid passport or ID to take the IELTS test. Okay, so these are the countries people want to go, especially from Pakistan and India. That people want to go to UK, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, USA, Netherlands, and so on. Okay, so Cambridge University controls international English language testing system. Whether you take the test by British Council, by AEO, by IEB. Uh, let me tell you uh, a thing uh, that is not good, but it is very famous among the students that I'm not going to take the test by British Council because uh, in British Council the examiner who takes the speaking test, he doesn't give you a good score and I would not get test by means of AE or IDP because the reading passages are very difficult to know. There is no difference between British Council and IDP as far as the scoring criteria are concerned. Just keep in mind, okay? Do not believe in baseless things, rumors. Test centers in Pakistan so Lahore is the most famous city, then Istanbul, Selkot, Gujarat, okay. If you want to do the CD IELTS test, computer delivered test, then you can give this test every day, okay. You can go for Lahore and Istanbul and you have to go to the center, you cannot do this test at home, you have to go to the examination center. You will be provided laptop or computer for the test. Right. So keep in your mind that if you are a student, then you are going to take academic IELTS test. Okay? But if you want to move, you want to get a job, then you are going to do GT IELTS test, general training IELTS test. And is there any difference between academic or GT test? Yes, there is a difference in reading and there is a difference in writing class one module for speaking and listening. There is no difference between Academic IELTS test or general training IELTS test. Okay, so I have written here on the whiteboard that four skills will be assessed by the examiner to give you a score. As you know that there are total nine band of score and you have to get 6 plus in order to get admission and there shouldn't be less than 5 in any module to get admission if you want to go to America, Canada, 
Australia, in UK and Ireland, if you get 6 overall, 4.5 overall, and you have got 4.5 in reading, still you can apply and you can go. But for most of the universities, they do not accept the student until he gets 6 plus or minimum 5.5 with 5 in each module. Okay, so in listening test, as you know that there are 40 questions with 4 parts. Okay, and you will be given 10 extra minutes to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. And this test will consist of approximately 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. Remember, in 2020, in 2020, there is no example in the listening test. In the past, it used to be an example in the beginning of the test, but now the example will not be spoken, so you have to be very careful in listening. Okay. Let's move to the next module that is reading. In Pakistan, most of the students think that reading is the most difficult module. Yes, I agree with them. But on the other hand, I disagree with them. Why I agree? Because they do not practice reading. Hence, reading becomes difficult. They do not know about reading comprehension. They do not have any vague idea about pressy writing. They haven't read any book by themselves. They have just read only those books that used to be the part of their course outlines. That's why the students think that reading is the most difficult module, but it's not. You need practice to master in reading. Okay? It's a battle of time. Because you have to read big three passages, you have to find 40 questions, and there will be four to five types of questions in reading, like True, false, not even. Yes, no, not even. Matching the headings. Not more than three words. Not more than two words. Not more than one word and number. So that's why most of students do not get six plus in reading because they do not practice at home. Another thing that they just do reading practice test done by Cambridge practice books book 1 to 14 this is the wrong way to start start from the beginning ok at home if you have any English book there must be reading short stories novel poems and at the end of the story novel or poems there will be different exercises start from the beginning okay then you have to pass the different levels with the passage of time and then start doing reading test practices given by Cambridge in book 1 to book 14 and even if you are doing academic Yes, not GT. I would recommend you if you are facing problem in reading, start from the GT reading because in GT the passages, especially the first passage, would be shorter and easier. Okay, and you would get confidence when you get 27, 29 correct answer. In this way, you will go in a positive line. That reading is easier. I shouldn't be afraid of reading. Let's move to the writing. Okay. 
in writing again you will be given 16 minutes and there would be two tasks writing task one and writing task two in the paper the final selection is yours you would be given a freedom whether you are going to select writing task two first or writing task one first I would recommend you to go for writing task two first the reason you just have to understand the statement and then you are going to write okay secondly task two has more scope it has the expand while on the other hand writing task one have just three band while writing task two has six band okay so the last but not the least skill that is going to be checked by the examiner that is speaking 10 to 15 minutes seems to be 10 to 15 century if you are not ready for this test okay please do keep in your mind that this test can be taken before you are listening reading writing test and speaking can be taken at the end of all the above three skills this test can be had on the same day before two days one day of these three tests okay or after one two three or four days of listening reading and writing test okay so you can check here that you will be given four skills to pass the test okay the first one is listening comprehension look at the word i have written here comprehension might be possible that you have been watching english videos and you are very good in listening english but here you have to be all ears this is the test of your comprehension in listening at the same time you are listening you are writing your answer you are reading the next questions and you are speaking the spellings so this is comprehension can you understand what two speakers are speaking okay then reading comprehension most of the students who do not have knowledge about IELTS test they think that for reading skill they have to read a passage in front of the class no no not at all you will be given three passages okay you have to read by yourself and you have to find the 40 answers of the given 40 questions writing and then speaking okay let's move ahead to get the detail if we go to the detail for listening we will be given 30 minutes okay listening is very important that now they are not going to speak section they are going to speak part one part two three and four okay so remember in part one there will be a conversation about a topic between two speakers okay then in part two it will be a soliloquy, a monologue, a single person discussion. Most of the time, sometimes two speakers, even in the part two and in part three, conversation among two or four speakers on any academic issue. I think, as far as the listening is concerned, part three is the most difficult asking the reason the reason is that here you are not going to write three words two words one word or one number here you have to select from the options a b c d and in part three there will be a lot of paraphrasing 
you have to be vigilant, you have to be very, very careful in part 3. In part 4, there will be only one speaker that is going to discuss about a research, a project, a thesis he, she has written. So you have been listening for more than 20 to 25 minutes. It would be easier for you to get the correct answer and okay in part 4 again there would be a lot of paraphrasing. Paraphrasing means that they have written something else in the question booklet but they are speaking the same things using new words and these words have the same meaning that have been written here on the questions booklet. Okay, so if you are getting 25-27s practicing at home, it means you are ready for the test. You are the luckiest person if you are doing IELTS in this modern age because you have a lot of ways to improve your listening skills. YouTube is your second teacher and in it this YouTube channel can help you a lot and then you can go for Liz she is a very good teacher and if you want to go for something motivational then TEDx this YouTube channel is going to help you a lot. You can watch English movies, videos, whatever you want to improve your listening skill. Let's move to the reading that is not easy to uproot. So I have already told you that you have to read more than 2,000 words, approximately 3,000 words. And remember, you will not be given extra time. 60 minutes mean 59 minutes. You have to read the passages, three passages, you have to find the correct answers, and you have to transfer the correct answers into the answer sheet within the given time not a single extra second will be given okay so question types here two calls not given matching the headings mcqs sentence completion matching different ideas with the passages okay only pencil is the word in listening in reading and even in writing you cannot use the ballpoint or fountain pen in your international english language testing system test yes as i have already mentioned that there would be a difference between academic reading and gd reading GT reading is easier but keep in your mind that if you have got 17 and you are going to take academic reading your score would be 5 but in GT you have to get 23 correct answer to get 5 band and most of the students who are going to plan GT test, they have to get seven in each to go to their final destinations. So they have work hard, they have to work hard to get their desired band. Okay, let's move to the writing task. In writing task, you will be given 60 minutes. That will be the third module of the test. Two writing tasks will be given okay and here there is a difference again in gt you are going to write a letter but in academic writing class one you are going to describe a graph 
a chart, a bar chart, a map, or whatever will be given on the test. Writing class 2, that would be the same for GT and academic students. Okay, here we go. For speaking, 10 to 15 minutes will be given and one-to-one -one interview with the examiner. Okay, the first part is your introduction and interview. This one. The second part would be topic card, cue card. And the third part would be follow-up questions. There are four basic criteria. That is your GRA, grammatical resource and accuracy, your fluency, your pronunciation, your vocabulary, your vocab. Body language matters a lot whenever you speak your own language or the second language. Okay, respected students, hope you have learned a lot about international English language testing system. I'm gonna see you soon with new, new videos. Please do subscribe my channel if you find it useful. Thank you.